All right, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to try to actually do some vlogging because this is supposed to be a vlog channel. Now, we're going to continue to talk about drama because that's always going to be a staple. But I figured we should bring you guys into what our daily life is now because, you know, our life's been crazy. I think today we're going to go and we're going to get our hair cut and we're going to go to Joanne Fabrics and maybe get a backdrop for a video. And I wanted to bring you guys along with us. Nick and I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. You guys know that we've worked with them for a very long time. And if you would like to spice up your bedroom act, now would be the time. Because if you go over to adamandeve.com and use code ELEVATED, right now you'll get 50% off one item as well as free shipping to the U.S. and Canada. Now keep in mind, some exclusions do apply. Now with Adam and Eve, you get 24-7 customer support, 90-day hassle-free returns, and they donate 20% of their profits to fight the spread of HIV and AIDS. So you guys know that we love that. We are very sex positive over here. So once again, Adam and Eve, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I did get my hair cut today. Nick got a haircut. This is the outcome. <laughs> They're over here laughing at me. I was going to do a whole vlog, but after we got our hair cut, some shit happened and it tore my nerves up and we had to come home. Y'all already know what that's about. What are you laughing you about? You turned it on so fucking quick. Like, you went from, like, talking to us, like, normal to, like... I didn't know. Okay, so were... today I got a haircut. <laughs> I didn't even know you were doing a video. You just got very abrupt with it. Like, okay. Just... Uh, Listen, he did get a haircut, y'all. Looks very nice. I did. I like it. Yes. But that is not going to be the topic of this video. So I want to talk about Michaela and Eugenia Cooney because there's a lot going on with Eugenia, and I've never spoken about that before. And as someone that I know it's hard to believe this, I used to have a severe eating disorder. I have some opinions on that. But the first thing I want to talk about is Michaela. Are we all aware of who Michaela Nagara is? No. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> Please tell me. Who is she? <laughs> She's that girl that did the fake lash review. She oh. went viral on TikTok a couple years that ago. One. Oh, the one that lied? The one yeah, that lied. That girl. Right? Now, I'm the actually, I'm on Michaela's side with this, you guys. So there's a lot of discourse going on now. Um, if you're on the internet at all, you know about Eugenia Cooney and Nick Akato. And I feel like they're both, uh, they, how do you say that? They're both. Different ends of the spectrum. No, that, but they're both wings on the same bird. That's what I was looking yeah. for. Because if you have a problem with one, you have to have a problem with the other. At least in my opinion. But there's people out here that support the shit out of Nikocado. No, they really do. They do. It's crazy. It's almost like a cult, the people that follow. Yeah, but you know what? I did hear that Nikocado was, like, working on himself and actually losing weight and putting in the time. Mm -hmm. But then a lot of people said that they weren't believing that because well, there's been older... Eugenia Cooney has said that too, girl. Well, yes, but She's I She's been think... working on herself for ten and a half years now. Yeah. Do you ever it's think that they say that to, like maybe try to reflect some of the heat that they get of course online, oh yeah you know i mean like for sure mm -hmm. you know they do it don't work but here's what's going on with michaela so michaela a couple months ago there was some people that came out with like text messages and stuff about her and they were saying that michaela was being like nasty calling them fat and all this and she said that she was a bodybuilder and turns out she showed the photos michaela showed the receipts michaela used to be very in shape sure. and she has shared her story about this. She ate a lot of chicken. Yeah. I wonder what her diet was because, no, she was in really good shape. Yeah, no, she was. Michaela, can you tell us how to grow them glutes, girl? Yeah. <laughs> we need to help, girl. Yeah. My mind just went blank for a second. But Michaela is calling out TikTok now because she had posted a video about her and her eating disorder and all the different shit that she's went through with, like, body dysmorphia and stuff, and TikTok took it down. It was a really good video. Is that is that surprising at all? I feel like TikTok always penalizes the people that are actually sharing a story that should matter, but they don't go after the people that are telling lies and just yeah, the scam being hateful to other people, kind of especially thing. like the scammers. Yeah. Uh, what's that girl's name? Carrie? I'm going to oh, have to check up I on her. I know Carrie Wells. Yeah, Carrie Wells. I have not seen her in a while. I need to get yeah. caught up with her. But you guys, check out this TikTok from Michaela where she calls out TikTok. Seriously, TikTok? TikTok took down my video discussing my journey with eating disorders because it violates community guidelines. I took my video down because it promotes negative social comparison when this entire app is about social comparison. Yet I posted a video of hope discussing eating disorders in an educational way, sharing my story, and you take that down. I love how when people share anything to do with mental health, eating disorders, TikTok takes that shit down. But I literally see tits on this app. Full ass, tits, everything. You, I have seen some crazy shit on this app, yet anything to do with mental health gets taken down. What? 
I find that very frustrating. TikTok, put my video back up. There was nothing wrong with it. And I made a disclaimer in the beginning that it was going to discuss eating disorders. Eating disorders are something we cannot ignore. They need to be discussed. And you're out here removing videos that talks about it. Frustrating. It's frustrating. Okay, so you guys, I've been very vocal about my issues with TikTok for a while now. I'll post the video over there and it seems like every time it gets flagged and taken down. And TikTok, I feel like they've blacklisted me because they don't like me over there. I've just never been into posting on TikTok. Like I'll post it's shady lame, things girl. to like respond to people like James Charles and things. Get ready with me for my 23rd birthday at dinner. I would rather find three little blind mice and teach them how to play in a band. And yes, I'm taking a shit. But it's just because I'm probably like stoned and just like laying back and doing that. That's yeah. the only reason why. No, I hate TikTok because I've always had problems with it. None of my videos ever do anything. And that's just not me complaining. It's just like as a creator, I don't understand how they want people to like grow on their platform. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of plants over there. You have to do, do the dances. You didn't do yeah. the dances. Yeah. You have Girl. to do that. Use a viral it's sounds. like you have to pay your dues. Yeah. Get out I'm there not, and do dude, the like, dances. James Charles doing dances was enough oh, for me. Oh, 2020 was That's, wild, That right, right there is a reason yeah, to avoid TikTok. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you notice that he's not friends with the D'Amelios anymore? Probably? Yeah. A lot of people were commenting on my videos about that. They were mm -hmm. like, well, there's a reason why he's not friends with Charlie D'Amelio because you remember he defended the D'Amelios against Trisha Paytas. Yeah. What happened with that? Yeah. I, nothing ever came of that. It'd be interesting to know, but I don't think that there's that much tea there because those girls are about entertaining as a stick in the mud. Oh, yeah. uh, but I will say that one little clip of him with the D'Amelios where she was bitching about not getting to like 100 million oh, or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, oh, the other 99 million, not good enough for you. That is like, that's like the only good thing that has ever came out of James Charles. That we don't Charlie D'Amelio. Yeah, but you know what? He's out of touch too. He's he is. Longer. He's the same way. The other 99 million. Predator pales. But you guys, let me know what you think about all that down below with Michaela and this whole thing on TikTok taking her video down. I think it's bullshit and I'm with her 100% on it. So now we have to talk about Eugenia Cooney. So does everybody in, a, in attendance know who Eugenia Cooney yes. is? Yes. Yes. Do you? Okay, yeah. so Eugenia Cooney has been around for a really long time now on the internet. She actually went viral. Do you remember why she went viral? I do. No. She actually came out with this, like, video where she was telling people how to twerk. Oh, that was probably a site. That was a very, very long time ago. That's the first mention I ever remember of Eugenia Cooney, okay. and she went viral. And since then, it's kind of like people have been talking about her. We see people like Rich Lux, Jeffree Star, all these different people on TikTok promoting her. Going live with her for hours. Yeah. Hours upon end. Yeah. Right. So for years now, people have really been worried about Eugenia Cooney because of her weight. It's like, you can't hide it. It's no secret. Right. And I believe Jacqueline Glenn, mm -hmm. who else? Who else was it? There was a whole bunch of people that uh, were in the commentary space a few years ago. I know ja Jacqueline Glenn was one of them for one because she made a video about it. They all tried to get her help. I remember people got onto Jacqueline for always stepping in and trying to yeah. get her help. Yeah. And then, that was such a horrible thing. That she the was thing about it, after, remember, she? I think she gained a little bit of weight and then yeah. Shane Dawson came out with, uh, it wasn't even a, a series. I think it was like one video he yeah. did with Eugenia Cooney and it kind of painted her in this like okay light and people thought that she was fine. She looked like she was getting healthy. Taking she care of she herself. did look a little bit better from what I remember. I mm -hmm. could be completely wrong. I have not watched those videos in years. But we all know that she hasn't gotten better because if you've watched TikTok in any capacity and you've seen her, you would know she looks very frail, sickly, and just deteriorating. And she's and body checking all the time on TikTok. Uh, see, I didn't even know what that was. Tell tell us she's what body checking literally is. Putting, she's putting like her arms out so you can see how like skinny they are. Well, she like wants the shock around. and all. Yeah. And so she'll she's do it, fully like, aware of what she's doing. Yes. Oh, yeah. She's doing it. She's putting on a show for everyone out there. And I think it's honestly, it's sick because there are so many people that actually look up to Eugenia Cooney. People leave comments all the time of, your body is goals. Oh, my God. I want to look like you when it's I like grow up and all of this. It. And she, yeah. it is. It's glorifying That's reinforcing it. a really, yeah. really negative image if you think about it. Because you yeah. don't know, like, it's probably kids that watch her. I don't know her demographic, but it's if she's getting a, big on TikTok, it has to be It's kids. not even just a negative image. It's an extremely unhealthy image. It's yeah. promoting, you know, being... Unhealthy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Unhealthy. And her mother did, like, she was doing a live stream with Eugenia so, one time, and they asked her. I don't know that much about the lore, right? But does she live, her, she apparently lives with her mom, Yes. Right? Her mom. So her mom's this. enabling this and yes. okay with she's it. She's going along with it, and she's telling live streams that she's healthy. She takes care of herself. Ma'am, we know you're lying. 
No. There's we no know way you're lying. There's no way she's healthy. If I can she tell was... she's lying without having my glasses I, on, Because she does, like, salsa lying. dances yeah. and all this different stuff. I don't even know how she has the energy to do what she's doing. Like... I don't know. She has no meat on her bones at all. And I'm not saying that to be mean, nasty, or ugly. Like, it is what it is. You can see it. If she's going to body check people, mm -hmm. I've really tiptoed around talking about her. And I don't know that much about her because I don't want to upset her. But at this point, I feel like it's way bigger than just yeah. Eugenia because no, no, she can affect so many people. Yeah. The news has been talking about this. And now, like, a crisis, like, intervention team has stepped in and she had, like, a meeting. Good. And she posted on her wonder... Instagram story. Like, crazy people are calling. Now, I wonder if this was something that was set up by her fans or somebody in her family. I, maybe it got enough attention that they just, like, reached out and, like, bitch, <laughs> well, you need to come I in. was seeing things on Twitter that was saying that uh, Eugenia's account was banned, but apparently her was account like wasn't banned. It was just, like, hidden or something? Yeah, it was, like, a glitch. That was but bad. she had posted a video that had to have been pre-recorded, and then her account just went ghost, and she's not been seen on social since. Yeah. I know that uh, there's, like, three different places people are trying to figure out where she's at. I don't think that that's... Which they shouldn't do. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think that you should do that. You shouldn't pry that's into this. That's not going to help her. It's not. Yeah. And uh, truthfully, she's probably under an immense amount of stress because she's been doing this for so long, she's and okay. now she's out of her comfort zone, so... It, it's just a bad situation all the way around. But I do think that her mom should be held accountable because if you're going to enable that, that's literally like it's giving, her slowly killing her. In it's my giving opinion. Gypsy Rose. That's, oh that's my exactly God. Can we talk about that giving. for a second? Do you know about Gypsy Rose? Yeah, girl. Yeah, she's getting out. She should have never been she in. Got, yeah, she got parole. She is going to make so much money on books. There's going to be a movie. I hope she has a YouTube no, there was, yes. was there not already a movie? I feel like I've watched there a movie about. No, there was, it's not about them, but it was like based off. It was something TikTok like. Lives. It was like I don't know, like a Lifetime movie. Or, we're gonna have to look it up. We there was a Sarah Paulson it. movie. It wasn't a Sarah. I think it was I don't Sarah know Paulson. Who was in it, but it was something like that. It was like the story because I remember. See, I didn't know a lot about Gypsy Rose until I remember that little movie or show came out, and I know the guy and her like ran off or something. I remember seeing it in the infomercial or, or the commercial or whatever, mm -hmm. the advertisement of it. So you gotta find it. How long has she been in there? She's been in there since 2016, girl. So what? Oh, oh that's it? That's it? That's it's like, what, seven years? Oh, I thought well, we were talking like 20 years. I mean, for doing the mom in. Girl, she's not even 20 years old. Oh. Oh, how old is I she? I thought that she was older. No, this started out her whole, like, she's, her whole <laughs> life, her mom has said that she's, like, sick, and she's had yeah, her no, have operations and all that different stuff. Oh, oh, it, there is a show, because there's a scene where she finds out that she's given, like, pills that an animal would take. Yeah. Oh, we gotta find, oh, I I'm thought that she was a lot older. No, she's I young. She was I, in, like, her early 20s. Yeah. I, hold on. I, well, I can't. I, I was looking for my phone. Look up how old Gypsy Rose is. No, like... She was young. I don't think that she should have ever went to prison for what she did. It's very clear that her did mom she... had, like, mental health issues. But, like, to have your kid operated she... on and all that stuff, that's just... She's 32 years old. Gypsy oh. Rose? Yes. Yeah. She... Girl, what? Say... You're way off. I Let's am. See. I thought she was young. Hold on. When did... Let me look up when she went. What? That's crazy. Damn. Well, she looks good. She looks young. I thought she was, like, In an interview that way I younger. You know what? Maybe because she like looks like it, but she also acts like it mentally. But I could see why. You know, if her mom like kept her. No, I really, child, like, I did safe. not know that she was thirty. Yeah, years twenty sixteen is when she went to jail. I was thinking that she was a lot older, and that this happens like you're, you're really... closer to you're closer to it than we are. Then to what? Her age, because you thought um, she was older. I did. Why? I did. Yeah, maybe it's because I like I never really voice. like went that far into it, but I thought that. I don't want to talk about the time period that this went down because I have memories of that. I but like, how much she took place in her mom's death. Oh, not yeah. how much took place. Like, how, how much of a hate I don't she know the specifics, but I... have to look it up. Well... It's crazy, I mean, but it's but very... I mean, I'm not saying I blame it. This yeah. whole thing with Eugenia Cooney, it does very much give that. Like, if you're going to let your kid, like... Is it a situation where Eugenia's doing this to herself, or is it her mom? Like, dead ass. You know what, She's I don't adult. know. I don't know. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. What's her, like, yeah, but, like, we don't know what her mentality is like off the internet. Is she, is she, does she act like an adult? Like, it doesn't matter. That's what everybody she's that still says that she... She's still an adult. No. She has to take some responsibility. For yeah, her. no, I agree. But at the end of the day, like, if you have somebody fostering this environment, what, and encouraging it. what, yeah. what benefit is it to Eugenie to get out of it if she's comfortable? You know what I'm saying? That, that's how her mom, in my opinion, would let, be playing let it. Let me give you my opinion as being the only person that's a parent here that is a mother. If my child, but you're a normal parent. You're a good parent. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Not to everybody, apparently. Anyway. Girl, fuck them. <laughs> so my, I don't care, like, what my kid does for the most part. Like, if they're an adult, like, I can't control them or whatever. But if they are doing something that is hurting them or hurting someone else or is unhealthy for them, I'm not going to be okay with it. Yeah. You know, I don't know why the mother is okay with it or fostered it or whatever. Like, we don't know the dynamic. What if, what if off camera, Eugenia Cooney is like, if you want it, if you want money, you better go with it. Yeah. Like, what if, who knows? Who knows? You never know yeah. behind the camera how people are. That's true. So you just never know. But I mean, the mother is, is there. She's also, she's in some way encouraging it or enabling it. So she does take some responsibility, but not all of it to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I just could, I could never let my kid do that to themselves. Well, I mean... But she is an adult. You know how much. money is, like, and there's a lot of money involved because I believe that Eugenia probably rakes in money hand oh, over yeah. fist. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I don't watch her, but I've seen her on TikTok Live, especially when she goes live with, like, Rich or Jeffrey, and I'll, I'll be scrolling. She's TikTok. always on there. She, oh, yeah. She's always on there, but people are throwing her gifts, like, hand over fist. You don't get... On TikTok, you don't get anything. Mm. But you get money for, like, you know, the, the gifts lives. and things mm -hmm. that people... Yeah, mm -hmm. lives is where the money's out there. Yeah. So, who knows? Yeah, and shame on the people that, like... Are platforming like, her. Yeah, that are platforming it. this yeah. type of shit. That's yeah. so yeah. gross. But you guys are going to have to let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down below. I, I'll probably, like, familiarize myself a little bit more with this because I feel like it's worth talking about. I think that there's going to be way more developments. I'm not... We're going to watch a show about Gypsy Rose, yeah. 100%. I'm well, talking about Eugenie. Movie. I'm talking about Eugenie right now. But oh. you guys, <laughs> let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Again, if you are interested, please go over to adamandeve.com and use code ELEVATED elevated that's new <laughs> for this channel for 50 percent off one item as well as free shipping to the u.s and canada it's a great way to support us we don't ever ask you guys for anything and it would just truly mean a lot if you could support our sponsors specifically <laughs> but you guys i hope you all have an amazing evening and we'll see you all in the next one bye guys the mobile crisis team came people have nothing better do seriously like it's kind of so weird anyway, guys. I'm kind of like, why are you like just sitting around like hoping for someone to get locked up, you know? It's like, trust me, that, that kind of stuff happening, it is not a good experience. Sophie, I love you, Sophie. All right, guys, let's do the other. Let's do the other eye. You're sitting around? Yeah, I'm doing makeup. <laughs> usually sit when you do makeup, don't you? I think. Was I on a 72 hour hold? No, definitely not. Definitely not. No, I just kind of, everything was fine, guys. Like I said, I just kind of had to answer a couple questions. And I had to talk to like the crisis team when they came over. Everything was fine. Okay, where's the brush I'm looking for? Here it is. Do my bones hurt when they, when I sit? Nope, they feel fine. They feel all good. If you guys want me to leave, oh my gosh, somebody's a sub to me. You literally subscribed to me. And they told me to leave social media. I'm like, guys, I don't want to be mean, but I really like being here in a lot of ways. Thank you, Megan. Yes, I'm not going to leave. I'm not gonna leave, but listen, if you don't like me or you have an issue or whatever, like it's fine. But first of all, why are you paying like actual money to subscribe to me? Number one. And number two, there's literally like thousands of other people that you could watch, you know? Like you don't have to be like in my stream, like, like get off of the internet. Just saying. Oh, Penny, thank you so much for all the love views. I love you, Penny. Okay, so I'm sitting here editing this video, and apparently Eugenia has went live and addressed this whole thing, and she said that she was not on a 72-hour hold, that they asked her a few questions, she went in, and they let her go. So, I don't really know. <laughs> what's gonna come of this it seems now like she drummed up drama by staying off the internet and not posting and she fed into this to allow people to do that which is also sick so i don't like that you guys will have to let me know what you think down below